morning this is Nita and Miss Panda with the timepiece guard and she's you know keeping me safe one rabbit squirrel at a time all right what are we doing we're here I'm back got the tool so we can start cutting boards to size you know and get the rest of get the rest of this wall built dun, dun, dun. and um, yeah brought everything down here tape measure tools you know blades drill heads I forgot a pencil so, and that's not going to help being that I've got to cut stuff to fit specific sizes. So, let me go back and get a pencil, and then I'll come out here and get started. And I'll uh, see you in a few. Dun, dun, dun. The wall is complete. Or the back wall. Still got to do the sides, but the back wall is complete. So, what does that do? That means I switch gears. Um, and now that that wall is in place, I go ahead and tack this fabric down. Because that way I can get it right, left to right. You know, roll my edges in and tack it down so it's permanent like this one. Um, I can work on the sides as I get there. Front and back sides and the front side and bring soil in. Does that make sense? But that way this aisle way is done. <sighs> Life is awesome. Alright, um, other little side notes. Again, I'm going to tack it because I have tack stuff with me now. Um... But I ran out of two and a half inch screws and had to go to three inch screws or three and a half inch screws. So I got to get my little bolt cutters and uh, go ahead and remove some of the ends of those. And that way, yeah, when I'm out here in the garden, you know, I'm not cutting my hand on some rusty two year old screw. So it's all good though. Um, all right, let me get busy. I got stuff to do. Talk to you in a few. So the supervisor came over. Told me we were going to call it an early quits today. It's 10 o'clock. It's 84 degrees. The wall is done. The back flat, yeah, the black woven fabric, the, the sides are all tucked in like they're supposed to be. So where I burn them, since it doesn't fray, and it's all tacked down. So this is now, you know, just a perfect walking row. Yay! Um, had a little bit of paper out here left. I went ahead and started laying it at this end. Um, now I could go in the house and get some more paper. I'm not going to, because I still have part of that mound that was here. Um, and I actually want to break it down a little. Um, this is the high side. And right over there is the low side. And I'm going to break this down just like I did in the aisleway and move some of this dirt down. Um, that way when I start dumping in my amended dirt, there's amended soil everywhere, not a lot there and just a little here make sense so i'm not doing that today though so like i said i started the paper there tomorrow's a gym day um so this will wait till like saturday or sunday you know over the next couple of days and then i'll come in and i'll you know use the shovel and the rake and, and level this out that way you know not exactly level but just get rid of the mound here and when i do it i'll probably get rid of the mound because there's a mound there in the walkway then it levels, and then there's a mound right there in the walkway as well. So I'll probably level the dirt here and level the walkway, you know, just to make life easier type thing. All right. Again, fabric's all down. And it's so one of my six by six pieces. Doesn't quite fit there, but I bet you I can make it work, you know? Just because it pretty close to fitting there um i have to use my bolt cutters and cut off the these screws here because there's no way i'm going to get them out but cut them off so they don't uh they're not going to jab me or catch on the hose or you know anything else Whew. otherwise everything's doing awesome tomatoes are doing awesome peppers are doing awesome Take my little walkie step over here I have baby tomatoes, which shocks me because it's been so warm. You know, a tomato plant typically doesn't like it when it's 100 degrees. Um, it won't produce flowers. If it does produce a flower, they fall off. Um, and I don't know if it's just because of the way the way this garden works. Like It's 10 o'clock and you can see that these tomatoes are still in dappled sun. You know, and we all know that if you've been here on the channel long enough that... I don't have sun on the mountain till 8 o'clock. 
between the oak tree here, you know, and the, the black walnut over here. Between four and six o'clock, this whole area just starts to get shaded out. Um, again, it's August or it's July, but I have August temperatures going on. And so they're still, they're doing what they do. Um, so again, that's one tomato. There's another one over there. If you can see it kind of behind the finger area. There's a couple of them in here. I've got little blooms going on. So, you know, I'm not complaining. I'm not bragging either. I'm let them do what they want to do. And I'll do what I do. Peppers are the same way. The peppers like heat, which is why they're towards the front here. They don't get as much shade from the, the hoop tunnel. And um, I've got I've got peppers on here. You know, it just kind of depends on where you look. There's a couple of them. I don't know if you can see it. I have white frogs on here. Yeah, there's another pepper there. See it kind of up and down through the leaves. So I've got peppers on here too, and blooms. They're, they're all doing their thing. Even the, um, even the two peppers here in the hoop tunnel. Which so far have taken the heat well. You know, I have peppers on him. He's got peppers and he's got, where'd he go? There he is. Nope, that's a leaf. Okay, maybe he's just got buds on him. I don't know. They seem to be doing fine. Sorry, it helps if I don't have stuff in my walkway. And yeah. So the nicotinas, most of them took the transplant. And why I say that, I'm going to come around to this side so I can show, is where it dropped all its leaves, it's producing new babies. Even that, the large one there, it's producing new baby leaves. So, and that's not usually a good sign that they took the transplant, you know? Not to mention, I'm getting ready to have flowers here again. There's one here, and there's one there. So... They took it. Yay! Again, had they not, I've got some extra seeds. I just would have reseeded. Whew, next spring. All right, having said that, I'm done for the day. You know, I'm not going to go get the shovel and the rake and, and start doing dirt work. It's still a little too warm. Um, nor start trying to calculate, you know, the sides. Yeah, it's just it's too warm. We'll call it an early day. I agree with Miss Panda. So Miss Panda and I, we'll talk to you later. So those are leftover orchard stems. And those are orchard seeds. If you remember in a prior video, I'd stuck them all in a paper bag. Um, <clears throat> paper bag helps them to uh, dry out and maintain the moisture. That's my uh, mustard greens and my chichismia, and I'm getting ready to do the same thing to them. Separate the stems, get it in the compost pile, give the seeds a little more time in a plastic bin like this to go ahead and continue to dry out. And, um, you know, okay, don't spill the seeds neat. I've got more than enough for... Uh, Next year's garden. Whoop whoop.